What's up everyone, I'm back with another video. Today we're diving deep into the world of ethical hacking with Termux. Termux is a powerful terminal emulator that turns your Android device into a hacking powerhouse. We're talking penetration testing, network scanning, password cracking, the whole nine yards. We'll be exploring essential tools like Metasploit, Nmap, Hydra, SQL Map, Wireshark, and more. Quick disclaimer. All the information in this video is strictly for educational purposes and ethical hacking only. All right, with that out of the way, let's hack into this. So first things first, what exactly is Termux? Imagine having a Linux environment right on your Android phone or tablet. No rooting required, you just download it and you're good to go. Termux gives you access to powerful command line tools that you'd normally only find on a full-blown computer. To get started, head over to the Google Play Store, download Termux, and fire it up. Once you're in, there are a few important commands and repositories you'll want to install. Don't worry, I'll walk you through the whole process. We'll be using apt, the package manager for Termux, to install all the tools we'll be using in this video. By the end of this chapter, you'll have Termux up and running and you'll be ready to start exploring the exciting world of ethical hacking. Let's kick things off with the big guns, Metasploit. This bad boy is a penetration testing framework used by both ethical hackers and, unfortunately, the not-so-ethical ones. It's a collection of exploits, payloads, and tools that let you simulate real-world attacks to find vulnerabilities in systems. Installing Metasploit in Termux is a breeze with the PKG install Metasploit command. Once it's up and running, you'll have access to a vast library of exploits that can target different operating systems and services. But remember, using Metasploit against systems that you don't have permission to test is illegal. We're all about ethical hacking here, so buckle up and get ready to unleash the power of Metasploit. Next up, we've got Nmap, the go-to tool for network scanning and security auditing. Think of it like a radar system for your network, allowing you to see all the devices and services that are connected. Nmap lets you discover hosts, identify operating systems, and even detect open ports and services that might be vulnerable to attack. We'll be running both basic and advanced Nmap scans to see what kind of information we can gather. Nmap is also a valuable tool for network administrators who want to make sure their systems are configured securely. It's like having a security guard that never sleeps, constantly monitoring your network for potential threats. Chapter 4 Hydra, the password cracking beast. All right, let's talk about passwords. Hydra is a powerful tool that lets you test the strength of your passwords using brute force cracking techniques. We'll be using Hydra to target our own systems ethically, of course, to see how long it takes to crack different types of passwords. You'll learn the difference between dictionary attacks and brute force attacks and see how Hydra can automate the process of trying thousands of password combinations per second. Don't worry, I'll also be sharing some best practices for creating strong, uncrackable passwords that will make even Hydra sweat. So get ready to put your passwords to the test and see if they can withstand the power of Hydra. Chapter 5, SQL Map, Unveiling the Dangers of SQL Injection Ever heard of SQL Injection? It's a common but dangerous web vulnerability that can give attackers complete control over your database. SQL Map automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. We'll be using SQL Map to test some websites, again, with permission, to see how it works and what kind of damage an attacker could potentially do. You'll learn how SQL Map identifies database vulnerabilities, extracts sensitive information, and even takes over entire systems. Most importantly, I'll be sharing some essential tips on how to prevent SQL injection attacks in your own web applications. Chapter 6, Wireshark. Become a network traffic detective. Ever wonder what's really happening behind the scenes when you browse the web, send emails, or stream videos? Wireshark is like a microscope for your network traffic. We'll be using it to identify different types of traffic, spot potential security threats, and even troubleshoot network problems. You'll learn how to capture network packets, filter and analyze the data, and understand the different protocols that make the internet work. We'll even look at some real-world examples of how Wireshark is used by cybersecurity professionals to investigate incidents and track down attackers. So if you're ready to become a network traffic detective, grab your magnifying glass or your laptop and let's get started. 
Let's face it, passwords are often the weakest link in any security system. And when it comes to cracking passwords, John the Ripper is a legend. This powerful tool is designed to test password strength and recover lost passwords using a variety of techniques. We'll be exploring John the Ripper's capabilities by performing both dictionary attacks and brute force attacks against different types of password hashes. John the Ripper is a valuable tool for both ethical hackers and system administrators who need to test the strength of their passwords and ensure that their users are following best practices. Remember, a strong password is your first line of defense against unauthorized access. Web servers are juicy targets for attackers, and that's where Nikto comes in. This open-source web server scanner is designed to find vulnerabilities and misconfigurations that could be exploited by malicious actors. We'll be using Nikto to scan various web servers, with permission of course, to see how it identifies outdated software, insecure configurations, and other potential security holes. Nikto is an essential tool for web developers, system administrators, and anyone responsible for securing web applications. By identifying and addressing vulnerabilities early on, you can significantly reduce the risk of your web servers being compromised. Wi-Fi is everywhere these days, but how secure is your wireless network? Aircrack Eng is a suite of tools designed to assess Wi-Fi security by testing the strength of your encryption and identifying potential vulnerabilities. We'll be using Aircrack Ung to demonstrate different Wi-Fi hacking techniques including capturing network traffic, cracking passwords, and even injecting malicious packets. You'll learn about different Wi-Fi security protocols, the strengths and weaknesses of each, and how to configure your own wireless network for maximum security. Remember, unauthorized Wi-Fi hacking is illegal, so always make sure you have permission before testing the security of any network. Want to take your Termux skills to the next level? The Termux API lets you control various aspects of your Android device directly from the command line. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities for ethical hacking and security testing. We'll be exploring how to use the Termux API to interact with your device's hardware and software, including accessing GPS data, sending SMS messages, making phone calls, and even controlling the camera. You'll learn how these capabilities can be used for both legitimate and malicious purposes. The Termux API is a powerful tool for security researchers, penetration testers, and anyone who wants to automate tasks or gather information from their Android device. However, it's important to use these capabilities responsibly and ethically. Netcat, often referred to as the Swiss Army knife of networking tools, is a versatile command line utility that can be used for a wide range of tasks, including port scanning, data transfer, and even creating backdoors. We'll be exploring Netcat's capabilities and demonstrating how it can be used for both legitimate and malicious purposes. Netcat's versatility and ease of use make it a popular tool for both system administrators and hackers. However, it's important to use Netcat responsibly and ethically, as it can be used for both good and bad. Before we wrap things up, let's talk about the importance of ethical hacking best practices. Ethical hacking is all about using your knowledge and skills for good, to identify and fix security vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. We'll be discussing the legal and ethical guidelines that every ethical hacker should follow, including obtaining proper authorization before testing systems, respecting privacy, and disclosing vulnerabilities responsibly. Remember, ethical hacking is about making the digital world a safer place, not causing harm. I'll also be sharing some tips on how to practice ethical hacking safely without breaking the law or putting yourself or others at risk. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground in this video. We've explored some of the most powerful hacking tools available on Termux, from penetration testing frameworks to network scanners and password crackers. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and can be used for both good and bad. It's up to you to use your newfound knowledge and skills responsibly and ethically. If you're passionate about cybersecurity and want to learn more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. And as always, thanks for watching. 
So there you have it, a crash course in ethical hacking with Termux. We've covered a lot of ground from penetration testing with Metasploit to network scanning with Nmap and password cracking with Hydra. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and it's your responsibility to use them ethically and legally. Always obtain proper authorization before testing any systems, respect people's privacy, and disclose any vulnerabilities you find responsibly. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity goodness. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and hack responsibly.